they've been silence for decades. Now an entire nation has been ungoverned. <laughs> The result is deafening. In their tens of thousands, they massed in the center of Cairo, calling for freedom. Today, the Egyptians are going to change the course of history. We're going to make history today. Not only change the course of history, we're going to make our own history. And we're going to force our tyrant, Mubarak, which we used to call him a president, but he is not a president anymore. We're going to force him to go to Saudi Arabia, next to the rest of all the tyrants, next to Bin Ali. And later on, Gaddafi would be there, and all the Arabian tyrants would be there. This is the end of any tyrant who, would not, who wouldn't respect the desires and the needs of his own people. We are Egyptian. We have been here for 7,000 years. It's not his country, it's ours, and we're going to take it back. They've begun queuing hours earlier, checked by soldiers and civilian volunteers. It will be relatively empty past 10 Cairo time, with people drifting in and out of the square, a pocket of protests over there. Today, there is a snake of people going right back to the Nile, hundreds of metres back, coming through that military checkpoint in front of us. Thousands of people here already. This is clearly going to be a much bigger day of protest, and you can tell that already mid-morning. They come from across Cairo and Egypt, united in one common demand. In one world, we don't need Mubarak. 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 We need Mubarak. They want a better future for Egypt's enormous young population. Parents brought their children and babies to see history being made. This boy comes for future, for the beautiful future. Now this future. He make the future. We are make the future for this. This uprising defies any definitions. It's not just middle class, not just the poor. It's not just religious or secular, and not just Muslim. Egypt for all Egyptians, chants this Muslim preacher, Muslim and Christian. I am Egyptian. No Muslim, no Christian. No Muslim, no Christian. I am Egyptian. I am Egyptian. All the Egyptians want freedom. That's enough. No Mubarak anymore. That's enough. Go home. Go home. By midday, Liberation Square was heaving with more than 200,000. <laughs> This is unprecedented in Egypt, a people power uprising and on a massive scale. You're watching a political volcano erupting. For three decades of emergency rule, Hosni Mubarak has warned that without him and his regime, there'd be chaos in Egypt. That is now being put to the test, and these people are determined to prove him wrong. They know freedom will come at a price, but don't try telling them Egypt's not ready for democracy. You have in your country democracy, right? We no, no. You have in your country democracy, right? Yes, please. Yes, we have the same right to have a democracy. We are not a slave. Even in the same time, we will not a slave. Egypt's the Arab world's most populous nation and one of its oldest. What began in Tunisia has now caught fire here. Everyone watching across the region will be asking, where next? Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Cairo.